we sit here with another tragedy in Eretz Yisrael. A beautiful family, a mother and a father murdered by terrorists driving in a car with their four children. A six-month-old who was left without a mother, without a father. When does this murder end of the innocent people driving on a road? We enter the Chag with this horrible tragedy. Four children without their parents. And who's to blame for this? None other than the leader of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, who incites the Palestinians on a regular basis in spite of the fact that he wears a tie. He is no different than Yasser Arafat and the other murderers and the other terrorists. He is the same. He is responsible. And the government of Israel should not be worried about the French or the English or the Americans or anyone else. The government of Israel should do whatever it needs to do to protect its citizens. There should be roadblocks wherever they need to be that will protect the citizens of Israel. Again, another tragedy. Two beautiful Jews taken from us because they are Jews. When will these tragedies end? Our enemies have one goal, and that is to murder Jews, men, women, and children. Oh, God. It's, it just goes on and on. Just as a father of three children, six grandchildren, ages similar to these children, I mean, <laughs> to lose a mother and a father driving on a road, what kind of animals would take a machine gun and just kill innocent people? Who are we dealing with? Why are we fooling ourselves to think for a single moment that there's someone to talk to, there's someone to deal with, there's someone to talk peace. People who murder mothers and fathers are not interested in peace. They're interested in the destruction of the state of Israel. They're interested in murdering the Jews in Judea, Samaria, Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and every other part of Eretz Yisrael. That's what they're interested. Murdering Jews. That's their goal. That's their purpose. And Mahmoud Abbas is the leader of the terrorists with his suit and tie.